This is Todd. Hey, Todd. I need to speak to someone in service about our Suburban. Hey, just a minute. I'll, I'll put you through to service. Thank you. This is Michael in service. Can I help you? Yes. Michael? Yes. Yes, I need to find out an update on the Suburban. Oh, no. Um, which which well, Suburban is that? Don't all know me, because Mom's starting to get hot on the collar again. What's up? Well, okay, on your... We uh, had an incident. What do you mean you had an incident? Well, one of our new employees, he didn't realize we had a no-smoking cigarettes under the hood policy, and a fire started inside the engine. What? And uh, basically, it, it's it's a total loss, and it's it's caused a lot of damage to our, uh, our to our place here as well. And paramedics were involved. Several of our employees have, are in the hospital. Okay, so what is going to happen to replacing our vehicle? Oh no! Well, uh, your insurance should cover that, I, I believe. As because we only owed like two hundred dollars left, and we were going to get the title on that son of a gun. Well, somebody's going to have to pay for the damages to our shop as well, because. It's... How? We, why would we have to pay the damages to your shop when we bought the car from you guys? It was under. It was an under warranty problem, and that's why we took it to you guys. The warranty does not cover fires caused by service people. You know, no, smoking. I thought that your new employee lit a cigarette underneath the damn hood. Oh, my God. They blew up in my truck. Yes, they did. And a lot of damage to the facility, and a lot of people went into the hospital. And the paramedics were involved, and they're saying we have to pay for the damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, All right, I'll tell you what. Where is the manager? The the manager, he's he's talking to the police right now. He's talking to the police? Yeah, and about the charges that we may have to file against you for the fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me because your employee lit a cigarette underneath the uh, hood of our vehicle um, and there was damage to our vehicle as well as your um, shop, that you're going to press charges against us? Well, the, man the manager actually just uh, stepped in. Would you like to speak with him? Yes, I would. Okay, let, let me let me hand the phone over. Here we go. Hello, this is Jonathan. Can I help you? Uh, Jonathan, I sure hope you can. I was called. We had called earlier today. Left a message on oh, Chris, uh, this is about the suburban. Machine, uh, wanting to get a status report on our suburban. Oh. Now I find out that our suburban's blown up, and we're going to have fires charged well, against us. Well, it's it's it was an engine fire. Um, it it only went as far as the the front seat. The airbags deployed. Um, the front tires, I think you're going to, well, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a total loss for you. Well, it's, I can understand that, but why are we having charges against us when it was your employee who lit the damn cigarette? Well, when you brought it in, it had a malfunctioning oil. Um, yeah, I guess and the oil if the pan. guy had any brains, he would have looked at the invoice. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, we can't, we can't account for everything. I mean, we do our best here, but unfortunately... Due to the fire, um, our, our whole service bay is pretty much out of commission right now. And that's all fault? that? We brought it to you guys because well, we brought it's it the from car's you guys. Fault. It was a malfunction. I called on Tuesday. He said to bring it down. Uh, then they, you guys would look at it. My husband and I brought it down. You guys didn't look at it until Thursday. Well, ma'am, see, the, the thing is, it's the car's fault, and you own the car, so therefore, and you know, it's just like if you had a kid, and, and, and the kid uh, had a problem or, or, or did something, you're technically responsible. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not going to blow my top over the telephone. Um, when are we able to ca talk to the police? Well, the police are, are here right now. We're filling out a report. Um, what we're going to need... Do my parents have to come down there? Well, we can... I'm sure the police would be more than willing to come out to where you are. We're, we're going we're gonna to need your insurance information so we can recoup the damages caused to our... our How our are we going to recoup the damages of a, a fairly new vehicle being blown to bits? Well, I'd file it through our insurance, ma'am, but to be honest with you, it would just make our insurance go up. Well, you're going to make our insurance go up. 
as uh, you know, it it would it would make more sense from our vantage point to to file a claim through your insurance company to avoid our insurance going up. Yeah, and we're going to make our insurance go sky high because there was a malfunction with your vehicle. It was a malfunction with your vehicle, man. Back to you. Yeah, we made. We're not even technically the total owners yet because we still owe two hundred and fifty dollars on the vehicle, sir. We do not have the title. Well, ma'am, you need to calm down here. I mean, I see where you're coming from, but there's really nothing we can do. I mean, this was your vehicle that caused this problem. We bought it from you. That we do not own the vehicle once it's sold to you. Okay, I want the owner to call our home. My mother would like to speak to him. Well, I can I can have um, the owner's actually... Well, uh, uh, let me go ahead and, and, and page her real quick. Hang on one second. Her is a him. Pardon me? The owner is a him. Not a her. Oh, I'm, I'm speaking about... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The owner is, is busy right now, but his wife is here. I can have her speak to you. Okay, fine. Hang on one second. I'm, I'm going to try to get her for you. There, there was a new employee that didn't know about the no smoking under the hood rule. Lit up a cigarette and kaboom because of the oil. It's basically a total loss. Um, the tires, the whole front end, it caught the bay on fire. The the whole service bay is out of commission. No, they're saying it's our fault, and they want to use our insurance and everything because if we do their insurance, then their insurance goes up. No. Hello? I'm sorry. Yes, hi, who am I speaking with? This is Mandy. I'm the owner's wife, and um, he is actually unavailable um, to speak with right now. He's actually calling the employees' families that have been injured, so he's he's wrapped up with that. Um, our manager said that you needed to speak with me, though, so I can help you with it. Yeah, um, I want to know how are we going to get our re a vehicle replaced, and why are charges being pressed against us when it wasn't our fault? Well, we I bought the vehicle from you. We brought it back to you guys because it was a malfunction of the oil gauge. We had told Cliff that Tuesday, and we brought the vehicle down that Tuesday evening. Um, and now we're being told that charges are going to be pressed against us? Well, I don't know that charges will be pressed against you. That was just what the sheriff had reflected uh, to my husband, that that was a possibility. So our manager shouldn't have told you that that was definite. That was just, you know. I mean, how, can I ask one question? I'm as calm as I can be right now. Um, how is it that it's our fault when your employee is the one who lit up underneath the hood? Any stupid fool knows not to light up underneath the hood of a vehicle if it's in there for an oil gauge malfunction. Right. Um, well, because it's your vehicle is what the sheriff... It's not our vehicle. We don't own it yet. We don't have the title to it yet. Well, it's registered to you, correct? Yeah, it's registered. Okay. You're actually the owner, and uh, whomever you have as a financer is just a lien holder. You know how that works, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. I'm not exactly stupid. All right. Well, then you are the owner of the vehicle. It's just collateral to whomever you have, uh, you know, whomever you pay your bill to every month. I don't know who All financed right. you. All to. right. I'll just get a hold of the insurance and the lawyer, and we'll handle it that way. Goodbye. Did uh, the sheriff... Uh,